What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a portal, a uh, faux portal, something like you'd see in like World of Warcraft type of portals in Unreal Engine 5. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis. Thank you so much for being a channel member. If you wanna support this channel even more and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So onto the video itself, we want to create a uh, portal. Uh, let's say we'll just place a portal like over here and uh, we want that to display a uh, 3D image of the surroundings. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and add a new object to the uh, project. Go to all classes and we're gonna type in scene capture cube. And this scene capture cube, the rotation doesn't matter too much. I know it looks like a camera, and like you're gonna be seeing uh, exactly what's in front of it, but that's not always the case. And I'll explain why shortly, um, but we're gonna do more of the moving in the material itself. But let's just place this in front of some objects here so that we can kind of see, you know, we know where this area is, right? So what we're gonna do is head over to texture target, click on where it says none and create a new cube render target. And we'll name that cube render one. Very uh, unique, right? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and open that up. And you'll see we have a 3D image of the area and surroundings. And if we go to 3D view, we can actually move and rotate around and see what that image is going to look like. Very cool. So let's go ahead and uncheck this and take a look at some of the settings. Here we have size, it's currently at 256. We can make that a uh, lot larger, uh, 1024, 2048, uh, let's do 2048. And now we have a much higher resolution capture from that, right? So let's go ahead and save this and close it. Now, in our content drawer, we have this cube render. We can right click on that and go to create material or create static texture. Um, we wanna create a static texture because what I've noticed is when you have this in the scene, it lags out because it's taking those 360 photos back to back to back every frame of the game and it is very very slow so you don't really want to do this live i'll have another video on uh an effect you can use for like cameras or cctv cameras in the game and i'll show you how to do a live render but this is more for a 360 render that's still very performant so we're going to create a static texture and then we're actually going to remove this from the scene because we don't want it in there anymore we already have our uh, 3d static texture here if we open it up we can see that we have this large image here and that's perfect for exactly what we need. So now we need to right click on that texture and go to create a material. Let's call this uh, portal or mat underscore portal and open that up. And you'll see that we have an error. That's totally okay. What we wanna do is drag our actual texture into the material graph and we'll have a texture sample here. We wanna change our shading model from default lit to unlit. Connect our RGB to our emissive color. Then we need to create a reflection vector. So let's uh, right click and type in reflection and choose a reflection vector. And we're gonna connect that to our UVs and you'll see that now it's working. Let's go ahead and hit save. And let's try making that portal. So we know that it's to the left. So let's see, let's place the portal back here. So what we're gonna do is add a new basic shape and we'll make that a cylinder. We'll flip that on its side. And of course you'll want to actually create a blueprint for this or uh, you know, set everything up in its own instance. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick demo here. We're just gonna place that there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag our material into that. And you'll see that now we can actually look around the entire area. Let's go ahead and hit play and let's take a look at what that looks like. Very cool. Of course, now, of course, we can adjust the placement. That way everything will actually uh, line up to the right height because right now if you go too far away, it kind of gets really large, but it's a nice effect to kind of like give you another area or another world. And you'll notice that it's not exactly um, at the right angle. Uh, we had it changed before, 
We can adjust that as well in the material. So if I open up the material again, and just add a scalar parameter to this, so it's just zero to one, whatever. And now we have a zero. And you'll see that the uh, angle of this changes, the rotation of it changes. And the really cool thing you could do is if we drag this out and hit play, we can see that on this side, there's a ramp. And on this side, there's cubes, because we're actually looking at the full 3D image here. So uh, if I remove that again and hit play, now we're seeing this side and that's on that side. So if I were to rotate this, for example, and hit play, now we're looking at the left and now we're looking at those cubes on the right. Pretty cool effect um, that you can obviously adjust and uh, kind of customize to your liking. An effect around the border uh, might be nice. And I just thought this would be kind of a cool way of having a teleport zone, you know, kind of having a World of Warcraft style uh, portal here where you can kind of just like go into it and then boom, it loads the next level. Right? Seems kind of cool. All right. So that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.